For neutral fans, there are few things better in footy than watching a shocking upset victory. In this video, we're going to go through 15 occasions so far in 2024 that we've seen a lower ranked side unexpectedly roll a good team. Some of these results were more shocking at the time than they are in retrospect. In other cases, time has only made these results look even more bizarre. Let's go through these 15 upset results in chronological order. It started in round one when the reigning Premier's Collingwood unfurled their Premiership flag at the MCG against the Sydney Swans. Now the Swans had looked impressive in opening round and the Pies did not, but given the Swans exited in week one of the finals the previous season and were playing Collingwood at home, few could have expected the sort of win that it would produce. The Swans made an absolute statement, registering a powerful six goal win to announce themselves as a serious team in 2024. The opening two losses to start the season for Collingwood were concerning, but it wasn't panic stations yet. So now we move to their next match against the Saints in round two at the MCG. Despite leading at half time, the Pies were overpowered by the Saints in the second half to go down by 15 points. At 0-3, serious doubt was cast upon Collingwood's Premiership defence, though we know now that they have rescued their season to some extent. St Kilda had finished 6th the previous season, so this result wasn't shocking as such at the time, but given they currently sit 14th and the Pies are in the top 4, this qualifies as a strange result. After Sydney's strong first 3 results of the season, they travelled back to the MCG to take on Richmond in Round 3. At this stage it was unclear where Richmond really were at in the AFL pecking order, but given they were winless and injuries were starting to take hold, the Swans rightfully started the game as strong favourites. As it happened, Richmond pulled out their best performance of the season to stun the Swans by 5 points. As I record this, this remains the only loss Sydney has sustained all season, and it was to 17th placed Richmond. Out of all the results in this list, this may be the most difficult to reconcile. I would also consider Essendon's victory over St Kilda in Round 3 an upset victory at the time, although in hindsight it makes perfect sense. The Saints had been a top 6 side the previous year, and had knocked off the Pies the week before this game. The Bombers on the other hand had finished 11th and had one win and one loss up to this point. Essendon prevailed in a tight game by 4 points, and while they currently sit 3rd on the ladder, this was no doubt a bit of a surprise at the time. In round 5 we saw an undefeated Carlton take on a winless Crow side at Marvel Stadium. The Blues looked strong in the opening month of the season, having come off a prelim final the year before. The Crows on the other hand had looked a fair way off where most expected them to be, having hardly fired a shot in their first 4 games. And yet, in a neck and neck game for 4 quarters, the Crows prevailed by 2 points to record their first win of the season. The next biggest upset is me. I am upset. I am upset at anyone currently watching this video who has not subscribed to this channel. If you're enjoying this footy content and want to see more, I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe. In round 6, we saw one of the biggest Western Derby boilovers in recent memory. The reigning Wooden Spooners in West Coast recorded their first win of the season the week prior against Richmond, as they took on their crosstown rivals in Fremantle, who looked more or less a finals quality side in their first 5 games. Out of nowhere, the Eagles piled on the first 7 goals of the game on their way to an 11 goal lead at the final break, before finally winning by 37 points in a shock upset. Continuing the theme of shock results in derby games, we move to the showdown in round 8. So we know the Crows had rolled Carlton in round 5 and had generally started to improve, but when they took on their rivals in Port Adelaide, they still sat with a ledger of 2 wins and 5 losses. The Power on the other hand sat in 5th, with 5 wins and 2 losses. Despite losing the clearance and inside 50 count, the Crows would go on to record their third consecutive showdown upset, restricting a disappointing power to 5 goals 18. At the time of round 8, Hawthorne had made a pretty disappointing start to the season. They sat in 17th position, with one win from their first seven over the 18th place North Melbourne. They took on the 11th placed Western Bulldogs in this game, who many would have believed had the star power and experience to be able to dispense with the Hawks. But this was the moment Hawthorne's season clicked into gear, and they proved too good for the Dogs by seven points at Marvel Stadium. Now let's shuffle back to Port Adelaide here, and the very next game after their disappointing showdown loss. They faced the unenviable task of taking on Geelong at GMHBA Stadium, and this version of Geelong had lost just one game this season. The Cats were second on the ladder, and few gave the power a chance of winning this given their recent form. But shockingly, Port would kick 8 first quarter goals to open up a 49 point lead in the second term. The Cats would inevitably come back, but the power would hold on to a stunning 4 point shock win. In round 10, Melbourne travelled to Optus Stadium to take on the West Coast Eagles. 
The top four Demons started as heavy favourites, given the Eagles had only really looked strong in two of their first nine games this season. Seemingly out of nowhere, however, the Eagles midfield, and in particular Harley Reid, were able to dominate the Demons' star-studded midfield and roll them by six goals in a highly unexpected turn of events. In the same round, GWS played host to the Western Bulldogs at NG Stadium. To this point, the Giants sat in fifth and looked at the very least an outside contender for a premiership in 2024. By contrast, the Bulldogs sat in 11th with a negative ledger, and while they hadn't looked horrible, their form had been wildly inconsistent. In this game, however, the Dogs were able to completely outmuscle the Giants, particularly in the second half, and could have won by more if not for inaccurate kicking. They had 30 scoring shots to the Giants 13 for the game, but only managed 8 goals 22 on their way to a surprising 27 point victory. A fortnight later, the Bulldogs took on Collingwood at Marvel Stadium, with a loss to Sydney in between these two games. The Magpies had been severely depleted by injury throughout the early middle part of the season, and yet despite that, they were still charging up the ladder having not lost a game since round two. The Bulldogs trailed at every change in this game before charging late to steal a three goal win from behind. Labelling this an upset may seem contentious given Collingwood's injury situation, but it's important to note two things. The Bulldogs themselves had significant injuries to key players, and the Pies had been playing outstanding football regardless. In the same round, we saw one of the more bizarre results of the season when Melbourne took on Fremantle in Alice Springs. Going into this game, the Demons sat in the top four, whilst the inconsistent Fremantle sat in ninth. Fourth would get absolutely ragdolled by ninth, and it wasn't simply the result that was surprising, it was the margin. Freer outscored the D's 11 goals to three in the first half, and 11 goals four in the second to record a 92 point upset victory. Adelaide's season 2024 has been a disappointing one, and going into their round 13 clash against Richmond, they sat in 14th position on the ladder despite hoping for finals this year. The Tigers had been decimated by injury for much of the season so far, and so they went into this game with one single win under their belt. Many may have predicted this would be a simple victory for the Crows, and they would take a step in getting their season back on track, but it was anything but. After an even first half, the Tigers would blow open the game in the third term with six goals to two, and eventually hold on to their second stunning upset victory of the season, this time by eight points. North Melbourne's only win of the season to date also has to make this list. In reality, it was a clash between 16th and 18th, but the Roos had naturally been winless up until this point, and the Eagles had looked strong at home on occasion. But North Melbourne's young midfield fired in this game, propelling them to kick eight of the first 10 goals. The Eagles made a charge late in the game to hit the front, before the Roos steadied to snap an 11 game losing streak. So there you have it, the 15 biggest upsets in the 2024 AFL season so far. Let me know in the comments which ones you predict will come in the back end of the season. For now, I thank you for watching, I thank you for being subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.